Howdy, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to Friends of the Feather. My dogs are hanging out here on the porch a lot. I think there's two reasons. First, we have Mrs. Schroeder right here on the porch. I revealed the Starsky and Hutch Bundominium on the last video, and here we are with it again. We've decided to put it out here on the porch, and as you see, we've got two very interested parties in what's going on. There she is. There she is, Mrs. Schroeder. It's really funny because um, last night we just set this out here and I was a little nervous about putting her out here with this beast especially. This dog is a killer. If there was ever a guard watch attack dog, it's Gracie. She is, she looks nice and innocent. Oh, look nice and innocent, Gracie. She's a beast. I'm telling you, she kills things on the rag, don't you girl? You're so precious. Anyway, so I was a little nervous about leaving her out here, Mrs. Schroeder, with these two killers and, you know, not I, I didn't know what they would do. I'm like, are they going to jump up on the cage? What were they going to do? So I stood at the corner and just watched out the door where the Gracie, the killer, couldn't see me. And, uh, <laughs> Fergus, you are a riot. And, uh, she was, she, she came up, Mrs. Schroeder was here getting a drink, right? And Gracie came up and put her face right here next to her. And Mrs. Schroeder, like, nose boinked her because she doesn't care. You know, she doesn't know what this thing is, doesn't understand that it will munch her in, like, a bite. So Gracie stood there for a minute, and then she just barked really loud right in her face. And Mrs. Schroeder didn't even blink. She just sat there and looked at her like, what? So I'm glad because I'm sure that Gracie was looking for her to run. And that's what she wanted her to do. And she didn't, so that's good. We are greatly enjoying the day today because it is 70 degrees out here, you guys. 70 degrees. And also, we have this going on. Another reason that the dogs are uh, following me constantly. Grace or 10. He's Ellie like, girl. This is what she does. She, she glues herself to me when I'm out here. Because she loves me, don't you, girlfriend? So... We've got a, a pork shoulder butt in here. It's been going for a little while now. Let's see, we're looking at 203 being done. And look there, we're at 187, so we're almost done. I wanted to highlight for you guys the wonders of living in West Virginia because everybody talks about the scenery and the mountains and the people and the culture and how awesome it is. All true, 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 but the wondrous thing about West Virginia is the weather. And I'll show you just now what our weather has looked like in the last five days. Today it is 70 degrees and sunny as could be. As you see, not a cloud in the sky. Look at them. Can you find one? I can't. Yeah, so let me just give you a little tidbit as to what has happened in the last five days. So there you have it. First we had torrential downpours with giant hail. Then the next, like two days after that, we had spring rains, nice, it was like 65 spring rains. We had a double rainbow event, not a, just a double rainbow event, a double, double rainbow event, okay? So the first one was over here, right? Like in this area. The other one was over here in my neighbor's yard, and as you saw, the end of the rainbow was in her yard. I was like, that's crazy. I've never actually seen the end of the rainbow. But if you look in the one picture that I put up there, you can actually see the rainbow going in front of her tree and landing like right in her yard. Brilliant stuff. Freaking amazing. But yeah, so those are the wonders of the weathers in West Virginia because it gets a little nutty, as you can see. And today, 70 degrees. Um, oh, and then after the double-double rainbow, we had an inch of snow. <laughs> like seriously, the next day we had, it may have been more than an inch of snow. It was quite a bit of snow. And two days after that, 70 degrees, which is today. Crazy, crazy. And I wonder why my ears are popping and I feel like, the back of my throat is the size of a softball. 
<clears throat> a little bit of a sinus issue. Fed the girls some boon worms. They love them. They actually, I think they like the boon worms better than the uh, meal worms. Um, they, they really seem to like them and they're a little cheaper. So, um, I don't know if maybe they're doing something funky to the boon worms to make them like them more. Probably putting MSG in them, you know, it makes everything taste better. <laughs> but, um, yeah, enjoying the day. I was trying to get out and get some sun, uh, get that vitamin D level up. Everybody should be taking supplements of vitamin D if you're not. Um, nobody in this country is vitamin D sufficient unless you're like outside working like all the time with basically no clothes on. Um, so yeah, and vitamin D is very, very important. I've been watching a lot of videos on vitamin D. Um, so if you're not taking a vitamin D supplement, um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. And as far as I know, there's no too much. <laughs> there isn't too much. But also, vitamin D is tricky because it is not a vitamin, it is a hormone. And there are things that can go on in your gut and in your body that will not allow your body to absorb vitamin D um, if you take it orally. So um, sunlight is definitely the best way to do that. So I'm going to take up sunbathing this, this summer, I do believe, um, to, uh, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes a day, just lay out, get some rays, um, because I'm very pasty, as you can see, pasty white. Um, but uh, I, I, I yeah, the vitamin D thing I think is very, very important, and I think it's something that's incredibly overlooked. Um, <clears throat> so we're airing out the house. Do -do 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 that's what we're doing today, airing out the house, um, letting some breezes flow. And then I think um, the next two days it's supposed to rain, but I think um, once we get into some solid nice weather, which is supposed to happen like maybe like four or five days from now, I'm going to rearrange, again, I know, it's like the mobile chicken run. I'm going to rearrange their run. I'm going to take this fence, and I'm going to put it back behind here. Why am I doing that? Well, I'm doing that because I don't like looking at this grass being completely destroyed like this. Um, I can't see back here <laughs> from my windows, so I don't mind that. Um, we also have a water issue that is new. Um, relatively new. You guys can see the favorels. They're doing great. I'll let you pop in here and say hi to the girls. Hi, girls. Hello, lovely girls. They got some boon worms, too, so they're all happy. Those things, those two chickens, I love them. I'm actually thinking about getting a male favoral to see if I can, if they can have some babies. And not only that, I feel bad for the poor girls because every time I get close to them, they crouch down like they're wanting me to mount up and I'm like girls I'm not the one you're, you're you, you got the wrong girl so yeah they need a boy but anyway so we have water issues going down Ooh. through here um right up here is the convergence of three drains hush one of those is the drain for my sump Ooh. pump and once we added the drain for the sump pump it created an issue where we have this torrential river that comes down through here because my, um, there's also a drain for the like drainage up here at the road that comes down and meets right there. And then we got the sump pump drain. Um, and also <laughs> the drain for my eaves comes out right here too. So all that water just comes flowing down through here as you can see. Now this is a new phenomenon because we just had the sump pump put in like year before last, I think. So we've had much more rain this year than normal. But the water actually gets so high that it will go right here to the corner and it will flow through the shed. And then down here, you can see where the water goes down like this way and under the shed. And then it goes down into that area, like in my neighbor's yard over there. So I'm thinking that this would be a good place to put a water feature because I want ducks. Shh, don't tell anyone. But, um, so I'm thinking that this might be the place to put maybe like a little crazy lazy river. Um, but I want to put some chicken wire up right here and then coming up through here and corner this off. And I want to give part of it to the favorels, um, because they're destroying my blackberry bushes. They have absolutely, they've picked all the leaves they can reach off of my poor blackberry bushes. 
and I was so proud of them. And of course they are, you know, it's winter, so they're dormant, but they look pitiful. So I'm going to bring this wall of the, of their enclosure over to like right here and start it there and just give them a little more room out this way rather than letting them pick my blackberry bushes clean because it's rude girls it's rude so that's the plan for now uh, that's what we're planning on doing but people had been asking about the chickens because i had been doing a lot with the with um the bunny so uh i wanted to have <laughs> the bunny have you guys ever seen veggie tales Comment if you've ever watched Veggie Tales, and there was one episode, my son used to watch it all the time when he was little, and there was one episode, I think it's an Easter episode, where the, it's one of the vegetables is singing, the bunny, the bunny, ooh, I ate the bunny, yeah, I, I, okay, yeah, I've lost my mind, but it does exist, I really think it does, it's in there somewhere, um, but every time I say the bunny, that's what it makes me think of, anyway, Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe. If you got any chicken Thank you. That's that's what he's that's his call. Like, share, subscribe right there. Um, but if you've got anybody's into chickens, rabbits, um, dogs, being a all around fool, um, then guide him this way. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody who has watched. Thank you everybody who has subscribed. Um, I'm going to try to do more videos <clears throat> as the weather gets warmer. I think that's my biggest deterrent is the cold weather. I just don't like coming outside when it's cold. Um, so hopefully with the warmer, warmer, warmer days coming, um, I will be doing more. I've got my garden that I'm going to, excuse me, I've got my garden that I'm going to put in and I've got, um, all kinds of greens coming up. We're not going to show that today, maybe another day. Um, but all the seeds that I planted are coming up. I know if you if you watched like three or four videos ago, I was concerned about that. All the seeds have sprouted. Um, tomorrow will be two weeks, I believe, since I planted them. Um, so yeah, good news on the on the veggie front. But I'm going to be putting a garden in right over here on the other side of the yellow shed, I do believe. So yeah, that's the plan for now. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Everybody have a good weekend, or a good week, rather. We're just on Monday. I know. I'm going to get you some water. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.